Hello and welcome to another Fleet Ops audio commentary brought to you today by Clintsat. We've got a tournament game, round two match between Fallout and Roby One Kenobi. On the top, we've got Roby One Kenobi. He is fedding it up, setting up his main base using a good old engineering and mining start. Looking at the bottom, we see Fallout going ahead and doing something a little different. He's got his Antares yard going up and doing his mining. So, oh, little scout. Oh, barely makes it out there. Pretty good there. Let's check out avatars here. So Fallout is going with the Mason avatar, and he's got some sabers set up. Now, I doubt he's going to do saber spam. My guess is either he's going to go for a faster warp in, or he's going to go for some support ships, Norways or Canaverals, which should do quite well against uh, most chassis level 1 ships. So we will see what, uh, what he decides to do. Just taking a couple notes here. See science going up, so I am going to bet we're going to see some science ships and probably a fairly early Starfleet command. Um, he's not going to be put out by resources too much because he didn't do the... Uh, he won't, Or at least he won't have to do chassis level 1 right off the bat. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's go ahead and see what's going on in the top now. We have the yard set up here. Yard, interesting position. It is uh, a little bit away from everything from the mining, but yet equally, pretty much equally distant. So Roby can retreat miners into the starbase protective range and then go ahead and repair under that uh, powerful, powerful set of guns. So it should be okay there. Let's check Avatar here, and he is Mason as well. Okay, solid intrepid setup there, and science going up. Both players probably going to go for Starfleet Command. Um, oh, look at this Fallout with the uh, with the middle yard set up here. At least I expect that to be a middle yard, or either that or a turret. Uh, we'll see how far up he goes. Right up here, great position for uh, his ships to come in and repair. They could run away. He might be able to take out engineering. <laughs> or the yard if he uh, gets enough ships. Especially if he gets good warp ins in the long range. Checking out his setup here. We got Canaveral and Norway Mix. Uh, probably doing this because the Canaverals are slightly more expensive than the Norways. So this way we'll give him some uh, flexibility there. Now the Sabres are not a bad mix with Canaverals. Uh, as the Saber cover fire will uh, affect them. So we'll see what happens here. Roby going to go ahead and try to expand over in this general area. Uh, it's pretty standard there, so we'll see if he notices. I don't know if he has eyes on this expansion. Where is his scout? Roby's scout is... Is it right over here? I, I don't see it, folks, and I thought it survived. I thought he got it back. But it looks like he does not have it, and we see Fallout going ahead and expanding over here. The reason he needs to expand here is because he needs that Tritanium. Uh, middle expansion, even if he you know, does get it going, not enough, not enough money. So there is Roby's... No, that's, that's not Roby's scout. Where is... I guess he lost it. So, kind of... Avoiding this battle here. Uh, it's just a couple sabers pinging away at this nice little intrepid. They do not have the special, uh, but they have the little tiny ECM suite, so. Torpedo, uh, torpedo heavy intrepid gonna not do quite as much damage. Roby doesn't have quite enough money to go ahead and do the yard at the expansion, so he's gonna just kind of chill out here while he keeps up the intrepids and. Works on that Starfleet Command. About a minute and a half on that. 
And I was wrong. Fallout not going to get that Starfleet command right away. He is going to try to turn out ships. The Canaveral, just a little expensive uh, on the try for him. Does not have enough money. You, to be honest, I might mix in some sabers just to keep ships up. Uh, if he's going to kind of go... So, well, he does have a Canaveral going over here. Yeah, if he's going to try a double yard, I would have one yard just solid sabers. Um, but it's not me playing, so we'll see what happens. Double yarding try heavy ships is just really hard to do until you get that expansion really moving. And he has one on try, one on die. He's gonna put a platform up. It's a really safe, smart play by uh, Fallout. Really interesting to see how this works. Uh, has Roby adapted? He has not really adapted his his building to what is coming out. This uh, Canaveral. It's got the defense boost of three because of the avatar. He's got this first special EC3M up, so plus nine defense. So this guy's a little tank. 26 defense. It's a support unit. It does 50% more damage to short range. And it's up against these ADAI enabled uh, intrepids that are going to take more damage from support ships, do less damage to support ships. I mean, these Canaverals can't die. They are pretty much invulnerable to anything that is on the board at the moment. The Saber is still going to do fairly well against the Intrepid because it is not going to take that much damage. I mean, look, two of them pounded on it and four, what, a 10 defense ship, 15 defense ship. It, it's just not taking that much damage. These Canaverals are going to draw these guys out and then they're going to smack them in the face. Roby neglected to repair this guy and is going to pay for it. That's a... I think that could, that's a dead uh, Intrepid. He went ahead and tried to do the uh, repair and sent it back here. That, that guy's dead. If that doesn't die, then Fallout is doing something horribly wrong. Warp in here and still with the Intrepids. Oh, and an E1. E1 is also uh, enabled... ADAI, so going to take a decent amount of damage there. This Saber might die. But the Canaveral's just gonna really eat these guys up. Long range. I think the Pulse might be restricted fire arc. Yeah, so it's not gonna be able to hit, but this... Uh, Roby really in a bit of a pickle. Not building the right ships to uh, to stop these Canaverals. Now, normally, if, if you're building a ship that's countered, you're not in that bad of shape. But ADAI is just a nasty thing to have on your ships when you're facing supports. It's just... It, it not only affects the ability for that vessel to defend against those type of ships, but it also reduces the amount of damage they do. So it, it's a, just double wax them. These warp-ins, however, are going to do quite well. So, we'll see what comes out. Uh, Fallout, not quite able to double yard. He, he's probably one, more like one and a half yarding, even with these expansions. Um, he's got full try mining going over here. Uh, really sucking him dry, these expensive support ships. Going to check and s see what research is. I do not see... Um, any researches yet and Roby going with a Canaveral not a bad move uh, unfortunately the Canaveral does take quite a bit more damage from other Canaverals um, it's special is going to uh, make it take more damage against long range ships well, this is pretty much all long range ships here so still very limited survivability toggle that EC3M. That's why those pulses missed. So it's gonna... you gonna make it out. Let's see if uh, he's able to get a kill. Does get a saber kill. Good job, Roby, there. Uh, pushing through. We'll see if he's able to get another kill. I don't think he is. I think he needs to get out. I think that Intrepid is gonna die. 
Um, especially as it goes forward and these pulses start whacking it. Yeah, really taking the beating there. Norway out. And... Ooh, ooh, putting the, putting the hurt on the Norway. Oh, are they going to get it? Nope, just don't quite get it. Great little back and forth battle here. Uh, but these Canaverals just eating this <laughs> intrepid here. Curiously, though, uh, I don't see a lot of ranks. Just, just a couple here and there. Yeah, these intrepids are almost like not having a ship. It really should be saved and used for raiding somewhere else. This guy going to try to coast in. Will eventually get shot to death here. And boom, dead. So still has intrepids in the queue. Really kind of a bad idea there. Uh, though it's not building. I think he's got another Canaveral coming up. Norway's, yeah, really he doesn't have a good ship that he can build just to stop the counters. Um, it's about kind of mixing the fleet now. Will this turn into a phaser turret? Phaser turret would be great, do a great amount of damage, really punish them. But Roby does not have the money. Has miners over here, but nothing to uh, actually mine. Oh, Canaveral. Now, Roby's still in it. He, we just need to see what this warping is. He gets an ambassador. Galaxy. Galaxy. Galaxy going to do great against this stuff. Going to do a lot of damage. Going to help get those kills. So, contrary to popular belief, Roby is still very much in this game. I would cancel this Intrepid and build, um, build your mining station. We'll see what he does. Fallout, just packing away the resources now. He's got a full expansion here. Got some mining going on in the middle. Whipping out these uh, nice support units. And... You know, with the long range, he's able to really punish some of these ships before they can get close close in. Um, I think what Roby's doing here is just kind of seeing what he can get away with. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Canaverals. And two Norways. Oh, this, um, this guy's dead. ADAI unit just not gonna at least in several ADAI units still on the board Gonna get hurt that's uh, Support strategy is great against uh, another fed Monsoons would do okay uh, They're still they're kind of mutually countering each other with the uh, Canaverals but We'll see. Got to stop these intrepids here, and I think they're coming down there. He's realizing that they are just this throw, just throwing away money. So he throws up Canaverals as well. Really needs to get a mining station up here. He is going to lose the resource game. Starfleet Command will only benefit him so much because he's getting ships that are completely countered. As these supports build up, he is in a lot of trouble. And we see pretty decent double yarding going on here. Uh, special check, we do not see, oh, we see the second special, sorry, we um, did see a plasma coil go off a little earlier. Decent scouting over there. Gonna see a, gonna see a, a base, gonna see some platforms, probably one here, maybe one over here, and uh, some mining. You can see that Fallout definitely needs more Tritanium. Really locked. Uh should consider getting engineering up and doing I think he's probably what he's going to do with this guy 
though. He could probably get away with putting engineering up right here. And these miners are toast. Which is too bad because he just got his mining station up there, so he had a lot of a lot of resources spent that weren't weren't able to be helping him. This yard might even go. So that stuff moving there. He could move in the middle and try to take out some of these platforms. That's just a big fleet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ships. Eight ships in complete and half of those are countered by this in some capacity. Countered quite heavily. Does get that plat oh, almost got that platform. Not sure what he's doing, and these poor E1's gonna get toasted. Uh, he's kind of—I guess he is buying himself a little bit of time, but I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure how much he's gonna get out of this. You know, it's quite possible that this is the first time Roby's actually encountered this fed, uh, fed build. And it's definitely something different. You don't see it every day. Oh, Galaxy just falling to pieces here. Uh, you know, it's a lot of firepower. And just not quite able to get the kills. Do expect to, s to see the good game any second. Uh, we do see another warp in coming in. Not a bad, not a bad warp in. See, with these directional fire pulses, Roby's just not able to do enough damage to push these guys back to keep them from chasing. He can just sit back here and keep pounding them. And Probably going to lose this guy. Oh, and... Oh, and Roby stops. Oh no. Remember here, battle here, the warp in trying to engage this, uh, losing the E1. And Roby's sitting on a decent number of resources, lacking the try. Again, monsoon spam might not have been a bad bad call. That plus the warp ins might have been able to tank enough of the that's the damage from the cadaverals. I mean, they would have been a... Kind of a... Mixed bag. They're not going to do that great against them, but they're not going to be horribly... Uh, in, in horribly bad off. And... Fallout going ahead and putting a platform here. These miners... They had escaped, need to come back. The remnants of that fleet that was at the top, kind of setting up at the bottom, waiting for probably the final battle. <laughs> and.
And there is the... There is the final battle here. Lots and lots of canaverals. Veteran Canaveral, look at that. Kind of watching the final bits of destruction here. I'm waiting for the GG. There we go. And we have the GG. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. It was uh, great uh, watching these two guys slug it out. And I'll see you guys on the flip side.